It's Check On Stories we're following for you today on Robin Hood Radio and a story from the Lakeville Journal. Cornwall Consolidated School Principal Mike Croft has accepted a new position as assistant principal at Chapag Valley School in Washington, Connecticut. A search has begun for the new head of Cornwall. Meanwhile, Board of Education appointed retired principal Patricia Corvello of Washington to fill the position for four days each week. The Kildonan School Board of Trustees announced this past week, despite efforts by parents and community members to keep the school open. They will be unable to do so. That decision announced at a meeting on July 16th after the board looked at a proposal from the parent group when the board announced its decision last month to close the school due to low enrollment. A committee of 20 concerned parents formed to see what could be done to possibly keep that school open for the 2019-20 academic year and beyond. In Millerton, New York, the Saperstein's building on Main Street over the past year, It was purchased, and a number of improvements have been made. It's been placed back on the market, according to a story in the Lakeville Journal. And the town board in Northeast has announced it's awarded a bid to begin phase one of a new highway garage construction project. That plan to build a shared garage facility with the village of Millerton on a 3.5-acre Route 22 site brought through back taxes for $6,687 last year. Bid was awarded to one-way construction of West Hurley in Ulster County in the amount of $429,000. The only other bid submitted was from Sigurds and Sons Construction of Poughkeepsie in the amount of $400. $75,000. St. Andrew's annual tag sale in Kent will take place August 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, Friday from 8.30 till 10, early bird sales, $10 admission, 10 to 4, free admission, Saturday, 10 to 4, free admission, and Sunday, 8 to 4, 11.30 to 2.30, free admission. Hotchkiss Library of Sharon has their 23rd annual Sharon Summer Book Signing from 6 till 8 p.m. Wine, cocktails, and hors d'oeuvres admission, $40. Also, their annual used book sale happens on Saturday and Sunday, Saturday 10 to 4, and Sunday 10 till 2. Local writer and poet Abby Gallagher will guide adolescents grades 6 through 9th in a writing workshop. The library is located on South Main Street, Route 82 in Pine Plains. You can register at 518-398-1927. Sharon United Methodist Church will have a half-price sale on Saturday from 9 till 3 in the Cool Church basement. There's lots of different items there. For more information, 3645814. The 60th Annual Craft Fair will be on the green in Sharon on Saturday from 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. 60 different vendors have signed up for this. You can shop, stroll, visit, and enjoy. The Mount Washington Church Fair will be held on Saturday from 10 till 3 at the corner of Cross Road and East Street in Mount Washington with interactive activities for kids of all ages, food, live music, silent auction, white elephant tent, free door prizes, vintage clothing, local art, raffles, and antiques roadshow with appraiser Charles Frint. Wintog Heritage Land Trust offering the opportunity to view interesting plants and late summer wildflowers in bloom during a wildflower walk. It will happen August 3rd at 10 a.m. in the Cobble Brook Vista Preserve on Studio Hill Circle. The leader of the walk will be Karen Kalmpothwaite. Noble Horizons welcomes former Stanford University professor Kim Maxwell, who founded the companies that invented the modern dial-up modem and worldwide standard for DSL. They'll be speaking at 11 a.m. on August 3rd at 17 Cobble Road. Standard Space in Sharon has a show with Purdy Eaton. The opening reception will be Saturday the 3rd from 5.30 until 8 p.m. Berkshire Country Store Hot Dog Eating Contest is being held. It's being held on August 4th, that's Sunday at 2.15 at the Berkshire Country Store. It's part of the weekend in Norfolk activities, which run Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. More information on weekend in Norfolk at weekendinnorfolk.org. Sunday evening concerts on the north deck of the Canaan Depot in Canaan, Connecticut. This Sunday will feature Molly Kate. It's put on by the Cranford Club, produced by the Music Lab. It starts at 5.30. If it's raining, they move it inside. Michael Brown will offer a free outdoor concert at Noble Horizons on Sunday, beginning at 6 p.m. Pack a picnic. Enjoy Pondside after the concert. Registration and table reservations are available at noblehorizons.org or at 860-435-9851. The James DeSillo Canaan Exchange Club golf outing will take place on August 5th at Wyandotte Country Club in Great Barrington with proceeds going towards scholarship for students from Canaan and Falls Village. More information at 860-362-5095. 
Our business brief is underwritten by Morgans at the Interlaken, interlakenin.com, and by Salisbury Bank, salisburybank.com. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was down 280.85, finishing the day yesterday at 26,583.42. The Nasdaq starts off today at 8111.12, and the S&P 500 at 2953.56. We'll take a look at the tri-state forecast. That'll come your way in just a few moments.